Hey guys, SK here, back with another Clash Royale video. Hope you guys are all doing well. In today's video, I'm at 7 0 in a grand challenge. Gonna be playing with Hog Rider Earthquake. That's right, a different deck than normal here on the channel. So, this version, Hog Earthquake with Mighty Miner, has been very solid. There are some substitutions that are made sometimes, some variations, you know, Goblin instead of Guards, uh, some other things, but this is pretty standard. And so, we have the Mighty Miner in here, which allows us to use the Musketeer. Musketeer is a very solid air defense option, and since we don't have the Queen, we can run the Musketeer and Mighty Miner. Pretty common pairing. We also have the guards, which are just really solid. You can also run goblins if you want, as I said. And again, we have the bomb tower. Uh, pretty solid defensive building. One of the best ones in the game, I would say. Definitely better than Tesla and Inferno Tower, at least. So, final first match against Plu. Give him the good luck as he gives it back. And looks like a hog mirror match here. So, just going to be trying to get 12 wins in this GC with Hoggy Q. Just trying to branch out a bit, diversify my content here in the channel, because I do honestly enjoy playing different decks. Obviously, I'm an expo player at heart, but I would say I'm pretty solid with most cards in the game because obviously I've been playing for quite a while and so we'd just like to show you guys how to play some different decks and if I can get 12 wins that would be a great example of how to do that so he actually does go for the hog uh, outcycled my bomb tower just gonna go guards log this should almost full counter uh, well played on his end because ice golem is tanking so he does get one hog hit in there but should still be fine he has to respond to these guards and does just do so with the skeletons gonna go for hog and actually hover my earthquake and pre-earthquake the cannon nice way to get it off and he does not actually have skeletons in cycles so he has to go musky plus log which is uh, six elixir probably six more than he would have wanted to spend so we're against 2.6 in the first match here which should be a pretty easy matchup actually and i'm just going to go for guards on this musketeer don't want to go for a mighty miner because i would like to save it in case i want to get the three card cycle going sometime a bit more about this deck i guess mighty miner is obviously really broken right now i would say one of the best champions in the game um honestly i feel like it might be the best monk is also really good but uh not really by itself like you i guess i don't know because in mega draft monk is just dominating but i'd say monk and mighty miner are the tied for the two best in my opinion skelly king is also very solid but a bit more uh, specific and less diverse you usually have to just run it with bait whereas mighty and monk you can just run whenever like there are a lot of decks with both of these right now um i would say mighty miner bait is kind of back in the meta right now as well so yeah mighty miner just very good as you guys can see we just have a three card cycle coming right now i'm just gonna earthquake cycle with this deck sometimes you can just earthquake cycle because earthquake is not like a very expensive big spell it's a pretty uh cheap medium-ish spell only costing three elixir of course very easily cyclable especially if you don't really need it for like a pump or a building um, in this case i would like to support my hogs with earthquakes but other than that, you know, it's pretty easy to cycle, say, on a Musketeer or something and just get some chip in there. doesn't even do that much anymore. They did nerf it, of course. It does less than a Fireball, but it still is pretty solid. Earthquake is going to clip that cannon, which, as you guys can see, just means the Hog does a good job. Going to pre-log on the Skeletons. My opponent is forced to log himself so that he can defend. Going to Bomb Tower for the Hog. Guards for the Hog as well. He does go for the Fireball. Ice Spirit just to make sure this Muskie doesn't get any hits on my tower, and honestly, we are still doing pretty well. Just going to Hog to Pressure. Again, pre-Earthquake. I'm just pre-Earthquaking pretty much every time. I'm going to log these Skeletons off before they can do anything. He probably has to log if he wants to avoid one hit here. Okay, never mind. He actually just avoided a hit, but that is still fine. As you guys can see, we're kind of holding the lead and I mean I'm pretty sure since I have do have the champion I have an advantage here and I can definitely out damage him eventually also just because bomb tower is a very solid defensive option gonna go for an anti fireball one right now so we can't actually fireball gonna hog with the mighty sadly a bit of a uh, fail in execution mighty goes backwards but still uh, hog does force some responses out mighty's getting closer to the tower also notice my opponent isn't really being able to go for firewalls with his hogs. I mean, I'm sure he would like to, but he's not really doing so. Number one, I'm going for some anti-fireball bomb towers. Number two, uh, he's just not really able to afford a fireball sometimes. Right here, anti-fireball bomb tower again, very high up. And I'm just getting more chip than him pretty much by going for a pre-earthquakes every single time because there's really no risk in doing so gonna log these skeletons off we do clip the ice spirit as well which is very nice might get one hog hit there if not guard will get a hit in nice guard gets one stab ice spirit jumps and that's just going to be a huge lead so this is just entirely in our favor right now very nice first uh match here i would say this is pretty much all wrapped up honestly because as you guys can see defense is so easy i literally just have to bomb tower bomb tower is a very solid defensive building gonna go bomb tower up high then guards i believe he went hog pretty low so he might be trying to outcycle my bomb tower but i'm not really concerned about that because i do have a uh, pretty fast cycle. I'm already back to another bomb tower. Then an EQ on the cannon. Nice, we clip the skellies too. And he actually does have to respond to this with like a musky log or something, because otherwise that's going to be a hit. If not two, so one hit comes down, and almost a second one, so just my opponent is in a world of hurt right now. In shambles, because he just can't defend, and this is just a really easy matchup, honestly. And as you guys can see, there's really nothing complicated about what I'm doing. I mean, I'm getting the pre-earthquakes down, hitting. He actually does go for the cannon push and misses, so that's literally just going to be GG. Really just bomb tower on defense pretty much every time 
and controlled the pace of the game, and very nice first win in a Hog Mirror match against 2.6. Alright guys, for our next game against a Korean player, let's see what he's going to be running here. Going to give the good luck and see what's up. Again, I'm, as with the first game, I'm just going to hog first play. Honestly, there's like no risk in going hog first play. We see a Firecracker plus P.E.K.K.A. Pretty interesting 10 elixir for 4, so he's down 6, which means he's at like 3 right now. But still, I have quite a bit to defend here. Going to log, I think I just missed the Firecracker. Okay, that was really bad. Uh, going to guards for the Cracker once it locks on, and that should take it out, plus distract the P.E.K.K.A. Decent baby dragon on his end, but Muskie should do the trick. Just going to ice to make sure that P.E.K.K.A. doesn't go anywhere I don't want it to go, and Muskie will take care of this baby dragon very easily, and I can definitely hog to support this musketeer and get another nice counter push going, just gonna wait for the musky to walk up a bit, and then go hog last possible second to jump and support the musky. Goes for a bowler, so looking like a pretty annoying deck, honestly. Muskie also did get one hit on the tower, I believe, so not bad at all, and I actually do believe a Mighty Miner will just be able to full counter everything. If you guys didn't know, Mighty Miner does not get knocked back by the bowler's boulder, so... No real worry. They're going to log to reset the Battle Ram charge. Bomb Tower should take care of everything because Musky, uh, or rather Mighty Miner, will die. Well, he has an Earthquake. I am pretty surprised by that. I'm actually probably going to have to go for guards on this bowler then. Going to try and surround the bowler. Uh, perfect timing. Hopefully nice, good timing. Goes for the Cracker. I could EQ that, but I could also just maybe try and activate King. I think I'm going to try and activate King off of it. This might be a bit too low. I hope it's not. Uh, okay, never mind. It's not too low. Perfect. Nice activation. Uh, Firecracker is fully taken care of, plus I get a counter push with the Hog. And that's just going to be a bunch of Hog hits. I'm going to take some Baby Dragon Belches, but I get three Hog hits. As you guys can see, Hog is very devastating. And I can just Mighty Miner for the Bandit. Plus, you will have to respond to this with either a P.E.K.K.A., a Bowler, or something else. If he goes Bowler, I could maybe switch lanes, but I have a feeling he might go P.E.K.K.A. No goes Bowler. Okay, no point going Ability here. It would just be a waste of one Elixir. So sometimes, guys, Mighty Miner, you just don't want to pop Ability every time you have the chance. One big thing about this deck, because it is a cycle deck, you know, Elixir advantages do matter, and you don't just want to be wasting Elixir here and there, so pretty important there. Goes for... Whoa, wait, he has Poison and Earthquake? What is going on? Okay, I swear I'm not hallucinating, right? He went for an Earthquake earlier, he just went for a Poison, that means he has Poison EQ. What is going on? Anyway, you're just going to go for a Bomb Tower... I know we can probably just EQ this, but I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. Um, I'm going to hog just to pressure quite a bit here, and hog in the middle so that the P.E.K.K.A. does not get a hit on it. Okay, never mind, I guess that completely backfired. Would have actually loved to get a hog hit there, but my bad. Get a musky to snipe this Firecracker. Ice Spirit to protect, hopefully, and nope, but at least Firecracker gets taken out. Get a bomb tower for the bandit, plus the bowler. Mighty for the bowler, and then I might need to log to reset as well. I hope that bowler is not on tower, and it is. Oh my god, that is bad. Okay, wait. Okay, thankfully just barely went off. That would have been devastating if the last few hits got him. Tower that actually would have been a good game right there. I'm going to have to hog again here to pressure in a sec once the Firecracker walks over so I can, you know, number one, uh, defend the Firecracker. Number two, get some pressure going. Hopefully get a hog hit here. And we do get a hog hit. Nice, that's perfect. As you guys can see, a very common trend with hog decks, especially this one, is hog to counter push. So, you know, defend something and just counter push and pressure as well. Uh, Bomb Tower is putting in work. I'm probably going to need to go for a Muskie here, honestly. I believe he just went for an EQ, so that is pretty annoying. I'm going to go for Hog right now. If he goes like a Poison, um, then he will be forced to respond. going to Log to hopefully get a Hog hit. And we barely sneak it in. Nice, that's going to be EQ Log range, I believe. So I'm just going to Rapid Cycle back to another EQ, or another Log rather, and just try and get the win. So Bomb Tower, preemptively for, say, uh, Battle Ram. Guards, and then just log, and that's going to be a nice win against a very interesting P.E.K.K.A. Battle Ram double spell deck, like Poison EQ. That was a crazy mid ladder type deck, honestly, but this deck can beat most matches if you play well. There are some hard ones, but it is honestly a pretty solid deck, so that's going to be a nice win. 9-0 against a very interesting, odd, peculiar P.E.K.K.A. Bridge Bam deck, I suppose. Let's keep it going. Alright guys, for our next match against a Japanese player. Honestly, Q time is quite a pain here, so... Uh, I feel like it's probably best to just cut out each of the wait times. I don't know, GCs have been kind of dead lately. Okay, he goes for a mortar and misses my hog. So that is a very interesting starting play. I'm going to get one hog hit courtesy of that miss. And Muskie will just clean up this mortar very easily. Going to Ice Spirit to cut the Mighty Miner over. Even if he goes ability, it's going to be a pretty valid ability, I would say. Because, I mean, I can literally just uh, not... Like, it won't do anything. Again, sometimes, like I said before, you don't want to just go for the ability for no reason. You want to actually get value out of it. And that was not one of those cases. Going to Bomb Tower. This is where bomb having Bomb Tower is very nice. He has Royal Hog, so I don't have to worry about that. Going to Hog. I think he's not back to his mortar. Going to EQ the Goblins, too. Bit of an overspend, actually. He did go... Okay, he had a hit, though, so not bad. He did go for 4 Elixir, I went for 7. You know, Goblin's Log against Hog EQ, but I got a hit, so I think that's worth it. 
Um, I'm gonna Ice Bird opposite. He might protect this mortar. Okay, since he, I don't think he's going to, I'm gonna Musky now. Okay, never mind. That was pretty bad. I'm gonna have to log to reset the mighty charge up, I think. So I'm just gonna log right now. And okay, Musky is dead. I'm gonna have to take this mortar damage, honestly. Sometimes, guys, you have to take damage. Like, there's absolutely no point in going guards at the bridge right now. That would be really silly because he can go pigs, counter push, and I'll lose. So sometimes you just have to use tower damage as a resource, you know, sack some damage to conserve elixir or not mess up your cycle. Yep, as you guys can see, he went pigs, probably right when he hit 5, honestly. Um, and on that note, I might go hog right now, because, well, uh, he, if he goes goblins, I don't have anything for it. I could go hog when I'm at 7, then I can at least pre-EQ, but he does have, also have a mortar in here, so... Interesting, like, EQ mirror match, at least I'm pretty sure you would have an earthquake in here. Just gonna mighty on the right, because I don't want to take that archer chip. In the right, I can definitely take one stray archer hit in the left, so not concerned about that. He does go for a log. And gets the mighty down himself. I'm gonna go for the hog right now just to get the pressure going. EQ preemptively. He goes for a defensive mortar. That's fine. Honestly, I feel like with this deck, I don't know if you're supposed to just pre-EQ all the time. Um, obviously, it's better to actually hit something with your earthquakes. But at least you're getting tower damage every time you do that. So, not too bad. Gonna go for a musky bomb tower in the middle. Even if he has an EQ in here. If he quakes the bomb tower. Like, as you guys can see, it's just such a broken card. Sometimes. I really don't think it needs a nerf. I've seen some people saying that, but... It is a very solid defense building. It's what I wish Tesla could be, because Tesla is just not it right now. Um, and that's why you never really see Hoggy with Tesla anymore. Always like Cannon or Bomb Tower. So, yeah, Bomb Tower putting in work in this matchup. Just going to Mighty get the three-card cycle down, protect against the Archers, and get a Bomb Tower down. Sadly, one pig sneaks on by, but no real concern. Going to Hog again to pressure. Pre-EQ on the Mortar. He actually goes for the Mortar up high. Well played. I'm gonna log just to try and get a hit. Nice, we actually clipped the goblins too, so that could be a hit. No, never mind. Mortar survived on like 1 HP. But I can hog again. This is the 3 card cycle being broken, guys. He's not back to his mortar 100%, and I'm going back to my hog. That's gonna be 2 hits. He does go for the log, but I think that's still gonna be 2 hits. Yeah, that's insane, so... 3 card cycle, as you guys can see, is a big reason to play Mighty Miner in this deck. If you have the queen, it's not the same, because sometimes queen is a bit expendable, but Mighty Miner... It has so much HP, you can just get it down and just get it stalling. One pig again sneaks on by. Very sly pigs right now, but I still am in the lead because of my insane hog push just now, like one sequence ago. Gonna EQ on this motor, he has to respond to the hog, otherwise it's gonna be one hit on tower. Does forced, does get forced to go for log plus ice spirit, so honestly very happy with the pace of this match. I'm gonna guards and I think bomb tower, don't wanna take any chances here. He does EQ, that should be no hits, I hope. Um, yeah, that's no hits. Very nice defense. And actually found myself not really using guards much this game. I'm just gonna, again, hog EQ. Like, just rinse and repeat hog EQ. Even if I don't get any hog hits on the tower, I'm always getting EQ hits on the tower. That's all that matters, because I am still getting damage. Gonna log for these archers. Pre-bomb tower for the pigs. No real downside. He can EQ all he wants. I'm gonna ice spirit to kite this mighty over. Okay, that was an epic fail. I have to hog to pressure right now. If he goes pigs, I'll be in a bit of trouble, but I can guards log. Plus, he has to respond to my hog. Oh, he does not get back to mortar in time, and that's going to be game pretty much, because that is two EQs. Going to get the first one in action right now. As you guys can see, another big trend with this deck is hog to pressure while your opponent's trying to go in themselves. Just pressure while defending, and it's a very easy way of pressuring. And if they actually don't defend well, as you saw right there, it can cost them the game. So, pretty nice hog EQ concepts. Nice win. That's going to be 10-0. and 0. Let's keep the GC going. Very nice game so far. Alright guys, for our game against Prince, we're going to give him the good luck. Two wins away from a 12-0 and 0 with the Hog EQ would be real nice for me. I love getting 12 wins with different decks. Does go for a log, just going to split guards in the back. I could also guard the bridge, but a bit too aggressive, I think. Okay, log plus a uh, Phoenix. Wait, I think he went for a log? Um, well, Phoenix either way. I'm, I, I don't know. He has a Phoenix at least, that's all I know. It could be like RG or something. Uh, if, it is, if it is log. Okay, Monk. Okay, that is not good at all, actually. I'm going to have to Mighty, and he goes for the RG. I'm going to have to Bomb Tower like this, I think. I don't want it to hit the Monk, and it still does. Of course it does. I'm going to Ice Spirit for the RG, though. Nice, really solid Mighty Miner, actually right on top of the RG, and that's going to take it out. So this is looking like a really tough matchup, honestly. I could be wrong, because Huggy Q is very solid, but he does have a Monk, and, I mean, Monk deflects the Musketeer, deflects the Bomb Tower, so that's all I'm kind of thinking about right now. Looking like a pretty tough matchup here. Especially if he has a lightning where he can lightning my muskies off. If he has a fireball, it'll be a bit more manageable, I would say. But if he has a lightning, I would say this is definitely a relatively tough matchup. Anyway, just going to guards for this fisherman here. Uh, just guards like that. And then one will get whisked up. And he has to log as well. Pretty solid. Guards are a huge help against RG, though. That is one thing I will say. Goblins wouldn't be as great. Guards are a wonderful RG counter, so that's very helpful. Just going to musky to match this phoenix, I think. And let's find out if he has a lightning or a fireball. If he even does elect to use a spell right here. Let's find out. 
goes for a monk that kind of makes sense you're gonna ice spirit to cut this monk over very nice play actually and i think i have to eq okay never mind i thought that was a nice play but the musky still decided to target the monk for whatever reason really thought that play would make it target the phoenix instead but i guess i was mistaken still a really solid defense overall i kind of had to defensive eq there guard does get one stab on the tower very nice guards actually do a lot of damage so i'll take that and yeah, you're pretty much going to have to dance around the monk the entire game in a matchup like this. Going to pre-log on the Mother Witch, and then I guess maybe like either Musky or pre-bomb tower. Because I don't really know what to do. Goes for an RG. I don't think I should hog opposite to pressure, because he can just fisherman pull the hog into the other lane and support the RG. So, don't really feel like going hog into that. Going to Ice Spirit instead. Musky, again, let's find out if he has like a lightning or a fireball, if he even wants to use it. Does all obviously also have the monk very annoying just easily just counters my entire musketeer and kills it very frustrating gonna ability to take everything out at least back to a second bomb tower mother which is also a bit of a pain honestly but that bomb tower that was honestly a really clean defense again i'm actually doing okay so far he does have a fireball that's very useful to know because that's going to be more manageable at least than a lightning so i think i can win this if i play well but I'm still very scared of a Monk RG push, because that's going to be a huge pain. That's a very solid defense on his end. Hopefully get a hit. No, I don't. Still going to EQ to clip the Fisherman plus the Goblins. Don't want to log on to EQ, because I'm not really EQing anything else, and I can log on defense whenever I need to anyways. Okay, Ice Spirit for this. Honestly, I'm holding on okay. It's again, just I'm concerned about these huge RG Monk pushes. He's definitely about to go slap a Monk in front right now, and there's like nothing I can do about it. Going to pressure opposite, I guess, with a Hog. Um, EQ to try and clip the Mother Witch plus Tower. Then I can log later on. Um, let's see. Okay, I need to log on defense. That'll take out the Mother Witch and then Ice Spirit. Okay, I'm down a lot of Elixir right now. I think I need to Bomb Tower like this. This will be right on top of the RG, and the Death Bomb will also take it out. And then going to go guards for the RG as well. Log 2. Okay, that was a lot of damage. I, I think I defended fine, but I guess that hog opposite wasn't really the move. I mean, it was decent pressure, but he ultimately just got a fisherman. One hit doesn't mean anything in the right, or in the left, rather. I'm going in the right anyways. And he was able to get a counter push, and I took a lot of damage, so I don't know about that hog in the left. Honestly, it would be nice to be going opposite lane in a matchup like this, but I guess I still have to pressure, right? Like, I don't- I can't just let him do these monk pushes. Gonna kite the monk over to the right and then bomb tower up high like this. I think this is a decent strat, like, kiting the monk over and then- okay, wow, it still deflects the bomb tower. That's really annoying, actually. Gonna log everything back at least, and wow, RG is still on tower. That might be game, guys, honestly. Like, as I said, I had a feeling this would be a scary matchup because of the monk. It is annoying and frustrating, but I don't know what I could have done. If you guys know how to deal with Monk with this deck, I guess, let me know, because that was pretty frustrating, and I didn't feel like I could do too much. Anyway, I have two more losses to give, so not really stressed about a loss. Let's keep it going and try and get the 12 win. Alright guys, final game against Vermouth. Unfortunate loss against RG Monk, but is RG Monk, what are you going to do, right? It just kills my Bomb Tower and Musketeer, no matter what, so a bit tricky. Goes for Goblins for my first Hog, so... Not sure what this is. Honestly, goblins could really be anything. I'm going to Ice Spirit to not take any goblin hits. He goes for a Skelly King. Okay, this could be that Rascal's Hut deck that's been everywhere. Actually, if it is, I'd be pretty interested to see because, I mean, um, I do have Hoggy Q, right? Very nice use case of what to what this deck can be good against. I actually forgot to mention at the start of the video, but um, this does do well against the Rascal's Hut uh, graveyard deck and just the Hut spam meta in general because, obviously, we have the EQ. EQ decks do well against Goblin Hut, and he does go for the Hut. Nice, gonna EQ right now. That should be one hog hit at least, and nice. Actually, wow, that's a lot of damage. Gonna pop ability as well, clear those Goblins out. Pretty much same cost as going for an Ice Spirit, but uh, I also get to pressure with the Ice Spirit now, and he has like nothing good in hand, so I think that was definitely a worthwhile ability. And yeah, this is what this is about, guys. Hog EQ does just counter this uh, Hut deck really well. I have Guards as solid defense for the Graveyard. I have EQ for the Hut. I have Musketeer. I have Bomb Tower for the Rascal Spam. Honestly, like, no real issue with this type of matchup whatsoever. So this... I really don't have an excuse to lose this, actually. Gonna Guards on defense, then I think Mighty Ability for the Rascal Boy. Or two Rascal Girls. Actually, might as well just let it charge up a bit, then go Ability. Just a full counter. And as you guys can see, that was a really easy defense. Now I'm going to hog to pressure, because he just went 10 elixir in the left. Has to phoenix if he went hut. I, I guess he might not even been back to hut, but that's going to be two hits and almost three, but still, two is a lot. I mean, my opponent pretty much already lost, right? Because how can he come back from this deficit? And I mean, again, that's such an easy matchup. You guys hate that hut spam deck. Like, this is the kind of deck you want to be playing, Hoggy Q. Exactly what it's all about, so... Really nice, uh, pretty good match. Really good matchup, and just kind of giving me confidence in how effective the set can be in the meta, I guess. Obviously, there are some counters, like there's Splash Yard with Tornado, 
Lots of tornado decks can be kind of tough. Honestly, E Giant's probably pretty tough for this deck because, I mean, Mighty Miner doesn't do very well against uh, E Giant, but I mean, still, I'd say pretty solid deck in the meta overall. I've not actually seen much Expo, so this would counter Expo, of course, but not much Expo. Um, just go for Skeleton Ability. Might as well just pop my Mighty Ability. Actually, maybe no point because Muskie is gonna go to work um, on everything. Then it's gonna log. Not sure why he gave me a free EQ on the tower that I'm going for anyway. That was a mistake in my opinion, but I'll take it. And I can actually take some hits here. Gonna Hog though to try and mitigate. I thought the bomb tower would stay alive, so sadly it didn't. But again, Hog, as you guys can see, if they don't have a Hutton cycle, Hog is pretty much one guaranteed hit every time because they just don't have the best defense. So honestly, very great counter to this deck. Goes for a Skelly King. And that's something you can do against Graveyard, guys. You can just EQ it, although I don't think I need to. He's probably just gonna... Ability, yeah, didn't need to, but something I was going to do, I realized I didn't really need to because he probably wasn't going to go ability, uh, or poison rather, is you can just EQ the graveyard if it's tank 4, and just a very easy way to counter and defend. But that's going to be GG guys, very nice win against Graveyard Hut for the 11th win here, as I said, can be a very solid uh, deck in the meta overall because this Graveyard Hut deck is everywhere. And, I mean, yeah, it just does very well. Going to go for the next match, I have a few feeling queue time will take a while, so I'll see you for the 12 win match. Alright guys, I was right, Q time took forever, so I'm glad I cut that out. Didn't want to make you guys wait a long time. Give my opponent the good luck. Found our first, or final match here rather, E-Barbs, okay, looking like it could be Bridge Bam, could be Golem, could be 3M, a few things here. Gonna Ice Bird to kite these over, then Guards, this will full counter the E-Barbs, I think, because Guards are just so good. They're a wonderful E-Barbs counter. They're just a wonderful almost everything counter, honestly. Guards are a great card, very underrated in my opinion. Goes for a Ghost, just gonna match with a Mighty Miner. And then this should be pretty solid, I think. And Bridge Bam is looking like... Okay, yeah, it's looking like Bridge Bam. I'm just going to Bomb Tower. He goes for a Magic Archer to try and snipe the Mighty. That's actually going to work out because... Um, sadly, my Mighty just in the crosshair of the Magic Archer. But I don't think I could have done anything about that. Goes for the Bandit as well. Going to Ice Spirit. And then that should... Okay, that was actually a perfect Ice Spirit. I do not know how that happens, guys. Like, sometimes when you Ice Spirit like that on a Bandit and it jumps, it actually... Uh, or rather, when it dashes... The Ice Spirit still jumps onto the Bandit after it dashes. I don't know how that happens. Gonna log the Heal Spirit off, hopefully before it jumps. Nice, good log. He also logs, but that should not be enough to defend, I think. Actually, it will be enough. He might get one E-Barb hit there, so... Maybe a bit too aggressive on my end, that Hog giving him a free counter push with E-Barbs. Maybe not the greatest, but, um... I think I can definitely come back. And this is looking like a really easy matchup, honestly. Like... I've actually lost to Ebarb's Bridge Bam, or just Bridge Bam in general with Hoggy Q quite a bit in the past. I remember this one time I was on a call with like Dybala, Khan, and some other one of my, or some other friends. I think Tom was there, some of my Clash Royale friends, and then I remember I lost because I just kept going for Hogs, uh, and he kept getting counter pushes. But if you just defend the whole time and Hog like at the perfect time, instead of spamming Hogs, then there's really nothing they can do because you just have a very easy defense overall. So I'm going to try and keep that in mind as I progress through this game here. Ice Spirit will hold that Queen in place. Then I can probably guards in the middle to split to counter the queen and also the ghost. Okay, not really the idea I was looking for. I wanted like two to the right, but I can mighty for this ghost too. And I don't think it's going to go to the bandit, so that's going to be a bit unfortunate. Going to musky to snipe though, and then hog to protect my musky. Okay, that was an epic fail of epic proportions. That was actually really bad, because I think I gave him a free e-barbs counter push. I got no hog hits, and I am a bit scared right now, but should be fine, I guess. I mean, bomb tower is going to put in a lot of work. Going to guards to kite. Bomb tower right on top of this battle ram, and then that's just going to defend everything. And I can actually eat that entire marcher in the right, courtesy of my right side tower being pretty much full HP. So, I mean, sometimes tower damage as a resource is one of the best things you can do. That was definitely one of those examples, so really nice stuff there. Just going to pre-log, and again, no hogs into this. I could hog to pressure whenever, but I think I just want to hog at the perfect time. I'm actually going to start EQ cycling to catch up in damage. I'm actually a bit worried about a mar marcher sniping my mighty miner right now, so going to musky up high to try and catch that. He does not go for it, but still uh, should be decent. And I can Ice Spirit to hold this ram in place, keep my bomb tower alive. Should full defend everything. These barbs plus the ghost, yeah, very solid. I do definitely have to defend this, so gonna guards plus musky, then bomb tower on the ghost. Very awkward, but I think I have to do it. Wow, thankfully that ram just barely doesn't charge. That would have been kind of scary if it did. Gonna Ice Spirit for the... Oh, again, it happened, guys. I really don't know how that happens, but that's like a life-saving thing. If you guys know what caused that interaction, please let me know, because that happened twice this game so far. Both very lucky times, didn't have to overcommit or anything, because, yeah, sometimes the bandit just dashes and kills the Ice Spirit, but there, Ice Spirit jumped, and that was so fortunate, I guess. Gonna log to reset the ram charge. Again, I do just want to keep this bomb tower alive. Ice Spirit for the queen. He does go ability. That is okay. I'm gonna be able to EQ the marcher. I think there's no point, though. 
Actually, there probably is a point. What am I saying? Because I do need the tower damage. I need the marcher gone. If you guys didn't know, EQ Log does kill a Magic Archer. It does some pretty neat interactions. It kills Zappies, it kills Mother Witch, kills Magic Archer, any troops like that. So just a very useful interaction to know if you're playing this deck. As you guys can see, I haven't really gone for Hogs in a while. I'm just kind of defending and chilling, and I'm kind of coming back. So you sometimes have to play very safe and defensive. I'm actually going to keep on that note and just EQ Cycle again, because this is pretty much how you want to play this matchup, I think. You just Hog, and they will get a free counter push. Whereas if you never Hog... They'll, ne they'll just be forced to push into you every single time, I guess. Um, I think I have to EQ on defense there to kill the Marcher, maybe? No, I have to Bomb Tower last second. Okay, thankfully the Ice Spirit held that in place. Okay, never mind. Another fun interaction, guys. Two Logs does kill a Magic Archer. Although that Marcher is not very fun. I have to Hulk to Pressure now. EQ on whatever. Uh, should be one hit, I hope. Maybe not. Okay, his E-Barbs do a pretty good job. Unfortunately, gonna Ice Spirit to hold this in place, though. Log again to Pressure. And this should be an easy defense. Guards to kite everything in. As you guys can see, Bomb Tower is paying dividends. Infinite value right now. Just infinite value. Mighty, that hog's going to get a hit. Nice, he has to march her. That's going to be it. So, as I said, guys, hogs are the perfect times. You don't just want to spam hogs when they're low on elixir. When their cycle is bad, you get the job done. And this is not like a free matchup. I mean, it probably is free, but as you guys can see, if you play well, you can win pretty much easily. Just don't spam hogs. He wants to emote a lot, so I'll just give him both my emotes. GT emote, 21 emote, because why not? And yeah, that's going to be a very nice 12 win, 12 and 1, one unfortunate loss against RG Monk, but honestly it's RG Monk, right? What are you going to do? That deck counter cycle decks pretty well, I would say. That's going to be 12 wins though, very happy with this, hopefully an educational video on how to kind of play Hoggy Q for you guys, very fun for me as well, again branching out, trying new decks, and just showing you guys that Hoggy Q is pretty much always viable, especially in this meta where it actually is kind of thriving against, uh, you know, the hut spam, against everything. So let's open up this 12 win chest, 22k gold is always welcome. And just all this stuff. I don't really need anything in the game right now, I think. My stack is pretty much max, except for, like, some legendaries. But still, you know, very nice overall. And that's going to be it. So, yeah, very solid. Got... Broke my 12 in streak, sadly. I had a 6 in there. That's so annoying. But otherwise, a bunch of 12s in a row. You know, nice win against uh, Graveyard Hut. Pretty much exactly what this deck is supposed to do. And that's going to be it for the video, guys. So that's Hoggy Q in a nutshell. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Take care. And I will see you in the next one.